Mõeldis tagasi saare ahlale ja püüdis nendest aastatest välja valida üht ja meelde jäävamat hetke, siis see hästi ei õnnestu. Saare ahla ja sealt välja kasvanud festival on minu jaoks tervik ja seal kogetud atmosfäär toob minus salati ütlemata sooja tunde. Ma olen hästi tänulik, et mul on tänu saare ahlale olnud võimalus kohtuda selliste eriliste ja armsete inimestega, nii siit Eesti maa pealt kui ka kaugematelt ja soojamatelt maadelt. Ning keda ma tõenäoliselt kunagi muidu pole kohanud, aga tundma õppinud. Ja ma olen ka ütlemata tänulik ahlal ja festivalid saadud emotsioonid ja tantsuelamuste eest. Tegelikult tundub üsna uskumatu, et Jane on suutnud üle maa saarele meelitada sellised imelised tantsijatest hingesugulased. Ja ma saan soovida vaid pikka iga festivalile. Ja siin Aarensburgi launch muusas sai alguse saare hapla. Teil on võimalus olla täna kõnnistajaks esimesele saare moisele hapla. Eredam ja kahtlemata esimene kõige emotsionaalsemad mälestuse on ikkagi Esimese afla korraldamine ei olnud veel nii palju piisavad kogemusi, aga kogu see üritus oli väga võimse energiaga ja suure emotsiooniga hästi soe publik, hästi vahvad esinejad ja kogu selle kultuuri poole esitus ja peab mulle kindlasti kahtlamata meelde. Õpilased olid kõik punastes riietes ja mütsides ja kogu see atmosfäär jällegi oli ülimõnda positiivne. Ja siis järgnevad aastat sealt edasi ja edasi. Ja olen kõik käinud nende ka ilusti kaasas ja olnud toeks ja jagunud kõike neid rõõmu ja muresid. Minu parim mälestus Saare Haplast on 2013, kui me tegime Jane'i ka tuu. Ja kindlasti ma tahan öelda, et Saare Hapla on üks kõige parema nii korraldatud üritus üldse. Õues oli külm ja jahe, kui Tritterisse astudes oli hästi palju säravaid kostüüme, ilusaid tantsijaid. Kui Saaragi raada astus tavale, siis tuli Saaremaalega põkne välismaist sära. My warmest memory about Zafra Fest is about organization. It was the first ever festival in my home country which, invi which invited me to teach, judge and perform as a guest artist and I was very excited about that. And since my arrival, organizers try to make sure that everything is okay and I have everything I need. And they were just very caring and uh, very welcoming and making me feel very special. Thank you so much for that. Also, there were so many dancers in my workshop. To be honest, I never had that many. <laughs> and it was so inspiring <clears throat> that it made me just want to give not just 100% but like 200%. And I just felt really, really great to be part of the festival. Our friend Jane kept saying to the teachers that we, <laughs> we will have a surprise on, on the Hafla. And we did have a surprise. At some point she just gave to us different gadgets and some of them were kind of easy to understand what they were, but mine, I still don't know what's the name. So we had to improvise with uh, the gadgets she gave us and uh, people, of course, uh, in the audience, they knew what was because it was very typical from Estonia. Actually, mine was used for a sauna, I think. Um, and at the end, after one by one, we were dancing, 
Uh, we did an improvisation together and that was really fun. Yeah, I really liked it because sometimes you get you don't get a chance to kind of play, play, play alone or with company on the stage and that was really amazing and very happy not only for us uh, also for the audience and the rest of the dancers. My favorite uh, memory from Zafa Festival is actually watching the Hafla because that was the first time I saw Estonian ballet dancers and I was just amazed. There was such a huge variety of dances and really really high quality. And my second memory, really dearest in my heart, is when we with other artists and students went outside in the, in the evening for dinner and we just shared stories, we even shared food. It was before Corona times and it was really just a wonderful memory. My warmest memory from Sara Hafla is a combination of two. At the first Hafla, me and Jana Pavaret were asked to come on stage to teach people how to do Sagarit. I remember standing next to Jana and feeling a bit starstruck. I was just 16 back then and just starting out, but Jana was very well known and beloved dance teacher all over Estonia. And if we move forward 9 years, at last festival I asked one of our guest artists, Padraya, to make a little introduction to the golden era evening. I went on stage with her as a translator and right after she finished the introduction she started teaching people how to do Sagarit. This was not planned, but it felt like deja vu. But this time I was standing next to a person who is known all over the world. To be honest, Sara Hafla has never been just a concert. It is a place for new artists, new styles, new personal limits, new inspiration and new friends. We have many beautiful memories ahead of us as 10 Sara Hafla is approaching. And to enjoy it all together, I am inviting you February 2022 at Safa Fest International Middle Eastern Dance and Culture Festival. I hope to see you there.